Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. I took a road trip for about eight and a half hours to go fishing with my brother. But when I got there, he had a little job for me to do first. Hey, Bill, I got a little engineering project for you before we start fishing. It don't involve no math, does it? Well, I don't know. Does math give you trouble? <laughs> well, there was a creek on the way to school, and I stopped by to fish in the mornings and a lot of times I was late for math class, so I missed a lot of important stuff. I guess that's why today my favorite number is blue. Rusty, I failed math class so much I can't even count. <laughs> oh my goodness. But he saw my video about witching for a water line, and he put me on this little project at his house. We located the existing line with those witching sticks and dug a little place up to make sure we didn't get into it when we laid the new line. This project's gotta uh, involve put installing a power cable. Man, people are shocked when they find out I'm not a good electrician. <laughs> we got to run a direct barrel electrical line from this point right here at the shop all the way across there to the house. We've come up with a rig that might make the job a little bit easier. Now this line is coming from that electrical outlet under these rocks, under this sidewalk, and right down there in the bottom of that ditch is a piece of pipe. Sometimes it pays you to think ahead. We run a string through that pipe so we can tie it onto this electrical line and pull it through there. Ease up a minute, let me get it started for you. Rabbits in the hole. Look at here. We got a wire. Bill Reddick Outdoors. He's an engineer. He may be a country engineer, but I've seen him engineer stuff all my life. And he can take a pair of pliers and some baling wire and make just about anything happen. It may not look that good when he's through with it, but it'll usually work. But he has designed this rig right here. We got our spool full of cable up here to this subsoiler, and he built this attachment here that the wire goes in, and we're gonna sink it in this ditch right back here where my foot is. And we're gonna take off with that tractor and see if we can't lay this cable on the ground. Y'all think it's gonna work? <laughs> Just spooling right off of there, right in down into the ground. Look at that, laying cable. Right now, this thing is going like a champ. There's the marker ditch. We're gonna see how well Bill does about hitting it. He's looking pretty good. There it is. Look at that, he hit it dead center. Just can't get no better than that. That's good right there. Ain't no hill for mountain climber. <laughs> Country engineering. That sure is better shoveling three or four feet than it is that whole ditch all the way down to that house. Another satisfied customer. I love it when the plan comes together. Folks, you know you're always gonna have some obstacles that face you in this life. But it's always best if you don't have to do everything by yourself. You need a good helper every now and then. And one of the best helpers I know of is Jesus Christ. And always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.